baby My lover, my lady All night you make me want you It drives me crazy I feel like you were made just for me, babe What's Tell good, YouTube? It's Mr. Cool Guy Kiss the girls, a.k.a. Raina Royale, Giles, whatever you know me as. I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. I'm going to start making videos, but... Um... I haven't been writing shit, so I haven't really been making any videos. School's been crazy, but... I'm about to get in the studio. shout out to Trav. I will definitely have his link over here. Subscribe to him. But I got this uh, this poem called The Moment of Honesty. For anybody who ever heard the new Alicia Keys song, like, yo, that shit's smooth as hell. Like, that is the ultimate love song. And when I heard that, I was like, I gotta write a poem. Like, I gotta write a poem. So I wrote this poem basically about my girl. Like, if I was Alicia Keys, basically, and I guess, I don't know if Alicia Keys was talking to Drake or whatever. But I wrote this poem called Moment of Honesty, and I think it's sweet, and I want to see what y'all think, or whatever. I got my little smooth jazz on. But um, basically, just about a new relationship, and just when you get so souped about it. And it's just, like, real love. Like, I'm trying love out again. Like, <laughs> the love was the distance. The bitch was crazy. The bitch was straight. The bitch was crazy and straight. Like... Just love just doesn't, it doesn't work for me, so I'm trying it again. But um, Pisces and Capricorns, for all the Pisces and for all the Capricorns, y'all need to try each other because the only two people that ever had me like, why are you so obsessed with me? Like, oh my God, I gotta talk to her right now, have been Capricorns. So I think there's something about the Pisces Capricorn dynamic that is just beautiful because anytime I've experienced it, it's been beautiful. Like, they are so chill. They're stubborn as hell. So that kind of fucks shit up. But if you can look past that, like, Pisces and Capricorn are the shit and the sex. Oh, you make me want to say yes. Uh, beautiful between Pisces and Capricorn. <coughs> So I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to read this shit. So I'm gonna let you see what it is. Shout outs to my babe Reese. You know this is about you. <laughs> All right. Please comment, and I will definitely leave her page over here. Here, whatever. I'm all fucked up today. I'll definitely leave her page over here. Check her out. She is like so sick on the microphone. Like sometimes when we go to perform, people just don't even give me shout outs to be like, yo, your girl killed you. So. I don't know. She's coming at my neck. I'm gonna have to come a little bit harder because you already know I'm conceited with my shit. So, take two, <laughs> Chinese people, because I never can get this fucking poem right the first time. Never happened. All right. Would you raise time with me? If I collected stolen seconds and weaved them into the lifelines in the palms of my hands and asked you for forever, would you start counting backwards or tracing steps to moments where strangers didn't know they were staring face to face with their futures and fall in love with me again? Without our letters hesitating, stumbling over each other, too scared to admit, protesting the form, stuck stubborn in the base of our throats. This time, we wouldn't be too scared to speak what our hearts already know. Would you call me crazy? If I told you I wanted nothing more than to be a fading photograph collecting dust on your nightstand, documenting the beginning of a lifespan, see, I want to be the wrinkled hand. Your fingers still find home and after all these years. Break dawn, every morning waking up to your smile, cutting gears with each wrinkle across my face. I'll cherish every memory we spent like it was my last, hoping tomorrow would never come, just in case it was. Baby, would you laugh? If I wanted you to teach me your culture, make me fall in love with my heritage, with each contour of your body, make me relearn continents, I want to feel the oppression of your people, their fists crashing, riding against my body, part lips and unleash their silent cries, demanding change, and make me see how flawless the blackness of my skin is. I want to find my great-great-great-grandmother in the naps of your hair. 
Oh, no. Visit your reservation. Sweat ran date rain dances across our stomachs like Mary holding God's dream blooming in her stomach. Jesus wasn't the only miracle birth. Your mother was holding a revolution in her womb to teach us how to fall in love with difference. Show me that there are types of all beautifuls and all faces in different places around the world. Take me back to history class. I will hold a civil rights ever between my legs. I'll hear Dr. King singing from your pelvis. Introduce him to Malcolm preaching from my thighs. Sip your freedom. Taste your equality. <laughs> We'll protest for integration with the moments of our hips integrating. Teach me the peace after resolution. Like maybe if heaven could feel this good. I'd tell God to resurrect this tired soul. But I know he can never create anything comparable to the paradise I live. Rolling old next to you. Because I'm somewhere past the moon. On Jupiter chasing the stars in your eyes. Hoping I never come back down to earth where it hurts. But I'm a universe light years away from the tears when you're here. So it's worth Never being able to call myself an angel. My angel. Would you think I was crazy if I told you I wanted to make you someone's mother? Hold your legacy in the pit of my belly and birth a devotion resurrected so the power of our love could live even beyond us in the faces of our children. Would you call me crazy if I asked if I could have the privilege to take on your last name as if it were my own and let your hands be the only touch my body will ever know. So please don't say I'm crazy when I say this in a moment of honesty with these feelings too hard to ignore when I say this, that I love you more than anything beyond time and reason that these words never held so much meaning. Tell me you're ready, that you felt the same the whole time, just I was a little bolder to admit what you knew at a low. So please leave a comment because I feel like I can't write anymore and I need you guys to tell me if you like it. And for all the haters and all the bitches that be trying to get in the middle of our relationship, that be trying to lie and shit like that, that be trying to talk shit, yo, keep hating because I know that you guys are just mad because you're not fly like us. And for all the bitches that be on my girl's dick, that be on my girl's dick, keeping it slick as hell to the point that I can't ride it sometimes, like, keep looking, keep watching because I'm wifey, bitch. It's funny as hell because certain people, like, when they try to get at your girl, like, you automatically don't like them. And... I have a few of them. I'm guilty of it. Like, I'm not going to want to talk to someone that tried to fuck my girlfriend. Like, why the fuck would I want to talk to you? I know a couple of bitches that be looking and wish they were me. <laughs> Bitch, I hope you're watching this right now. Like, I hope you're watching this right now. Maybe if we met under un different circumstances, maybe I would like you. I probably wouldn't still because you're desperate. But for all those bitches... I hope you do. <laughs> I hope you do fucking be obsessed with my wife. I hope you do dream about her at night. I hope your pussy gets wet when she walks by because you know what? <laughs> I'm the bitch that gets to taste that shit. And you're the bitch that wish she could taste that shit. So don't get mad when people holler at your girl. Be proud that they want her. That you doing something right. That your bitches fly because you the one she's going home with. That's just my little wise <laughs> rant of the day. So hit me up, Mr. Cool. One love.